Hi, I'm Julie Ear, a certified professional inspector through InterNACHI. I own and operate Empowered Home Inspections. Today we're going to take a look at a roof. Um, first of all, uh, just so you understand on the standards of practice, we don't have to go on the roof. Uh, I always go on the roof if I can, uh, but if the weather's not good or I can't find a good place to get my ladder up, I inspect from the ground level. Um, sometimes I will put a ladder up and only inspect from the roof edge. Wherever I'm doing it, that's what I note on my report. I've got the ladder set up here. Uh, the rule is three rungs above the roof surface, so I'm about three rungs up. I'm comfortable here, my feet are solid. I'm giving it a shake to make sure when I get on there, it's not gonna move on me. I always have a clamp, always clamp my ladders. Now let's go take a look at the roof. Want to make sure we get clamped down for safety before we go all the way. So we're just going to put a clamp on here. It's not, you know, 100%, but it's just enough to make us feel that um, as we go on and off of this ladder. Okay. I am looking as I get up here, kind of checking out the gutter while I'm right here. Um, check out the boot. Oh, looks like the sealant has come loose on this one, so we'll note that. They'll need to reseal the boot for that. Uh, I see the siding over here has some damage, so we'll note that on the report as well. Um, I don't see any flashing under here. There should be flashing here. And the uh, siding is a little close to the roof, so I'll, I'll note some recommendation for some repairs on that. All right, I'm just inspecting the shingles as I'm coming here, and these, I will note in my report, these are asphalt shingles, um, and I'm looking at the condition of them. I see a little bit of wear. Um, shingles, if they start to look a little shiny, uh, you, you can see the um, fiberglass in them, and that means they're getting pretty worn. A little bit of asphalt is typical to see, asphalt loss is typical. Um, and you'll see that in the gutters sometimes, but you don't want to have an excessive amount. Um, and these look pretty good, okay? As I'm coming up, I'm looking at all of these boots. I always like to give them a little touch. That looks good. Um, it's our vent for our heater. It's got the collar on there, it looks appropriate. Everything looks sealed up good still. It doesn't really matter right away if we know what they do. We just want to make sure they're all sealed as we inspect the rest of the home, we'll know more about what each one does. All right, and we have a bird's eye view of the flashing here, so it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and look down the other side. That all looks good, and look underneath at the uh, fascia board, and look at the soffits. Everything looks pretty good, okay? We have the appropriate amount of venting so that's nice um, as i walk the roof i'm looking for nails and i'm feeling it and this is for the radon uh, we know that because it's pvc um, and it's blown out quite a bit so again it doesn't matter we know what it's for we just want to make sure it's all sealed appropriately and um, and that seems to be the case here so that's good the uh, siding is too close to the roof over here, so I don't see any flashing, so I'm going to note that. Other than on the top and bottom, I want to see flashing all along here. Um, we stay away from the service mast. That's, that's something we need to walk up next to. This all looks good. We're going to look at the gutters over here. When you come down to the edge, you only go as far as you're comfortable with, and always go sideways or front, front facing um, when you're looking at a roof because you're typically you'll fall back and that's what you want. If you feel uncomfortable getting that close, don't do it. I'm gonna look over, these look pretty good, gutters look good. And here's our flashing here now we can see and the siding is um, higher up so that's good. I wanted to see that on the other side over there. I'll recommend they raise that and make repairs as needed. Chimney has appropriate flashing on it. Um, the uh, chimney collar looks good. Now, we have an issue with this. Um, there should be the appropriate uh, smoke arrestor on here. This is just a screen 
covering this chimney. So I would recommend the appropriate cover be put on that. And we have an extra helper today inspecting the uh, chimney. Clearly this homeowner has cats. You inspect that and we're gonna move on to the gutters. And they look pretty good along here. Gutters look good. More flashing looks really good along here. You know, I will note, I do see um, on this chimney, some of the mortar has um, worn out, worn away. So we'll recommend um, repair on that as well. So as we're walking over to this side, we can see that this set of gutters terminates onto the roof and it really should terminate into the next set of gutters for a few reasons. Uh, as you can even see here, the, the, um, this is gonna cause issues and for the siding and for the roof. Sometimes that can void the warranty on your shingles. So I would recommend that be diverted correctly. Okay, we're gonna come up here and just check the boots on these guys. Okay, and take a look at the gutter, making sure that looks clean, and it does. Um, some things I'm noticing on the, this is the north facing side, and I guarantee there's issues going on here. I do see some um, worn shingles, so I'll document worn shingles. I don't see any hail damage, so uh, north side will usually be the side to look for that kind of thing. And we'll come over here. I will document that there uh, is vegetation touching the home. That's not okay. We need to document they need to trim that back. Okay. The ridge looks nice. And these gutters are full, so we'll document that these gutters are full of debris and they need to be cleaned. All right, and that concludes our inspection of this roof. Uh, I'm Julie Irk with Empowered Home Inspections. Thanks for watching.